everyone welcome to alchemy star so when you started playing this game did you ever regret doing something so <laughs> for me it's going to be a lot so let's uh, discuss 12 things that uh, beginners must not do or beginners must do so let's start with taking a look at the help center okay so it's in your settings it's gonna be here and um for a beginner there are a lot of q and a's here um on starting the game i would suggest that you go through these and try to try to read what piques your interest in the guide and probably go back to this one when you encounter a problem once you are beginning the game so definitely know where your help center is number two is do not focus your teams on one element okay so if you are really a beginner you have you know i'm gonna be, go be going through the four elements so you have water you have uh, fire you have forest and the last element would be lightning so eventually when you level them up up to the highest one you'll be unlocking a second or a sub element for your um aurorians and some of them i have unlocked already but once you're starting especially if you haven't unlocked them please do not focus heavily on one element so that is a big no-no because there are some stages wherein you will need um, a basic team for content like for example if you go to let's go to explore and um let's go to spire for example for spire even at low level teams you can already clear these so you don't need to just clear only one you have to clear at least the earlier stages of spire uh, for each element because again of the rewards guys um the rewards you should not miss and um the mid game where you'll need a couple of teams a couple of elements will be crucial in your progress in this game especially for key stages that th there are certain teams that have specialists that the other teams don't have so you will need them so again do not focus on one element alone number three is do not miss special events as you can see here there's an event preview even the event preview in this game has or gives rewards as you can see even opening this puzzle gives you rewards and let's say for example this is going to be the new event this is the previous event or the current event that we have so even going through these even if you don't finish some of the content this is going to be easy this one if you don't finish even if you don't finish all of the content like uh this one the embers event so this one is a bit is a bit um hard for new players but again guys try to try to grind up to wherever you can grind because again these events do give you resources that help you immensely in your progress as you you know you progress through the game you uh, you go from beginner to mid game already and um, please don't miss this event so that is going to be your number three okay so we're gonna be talking about our fourth one which is going to be your energy or your prism okay so since your prism is here this is your prism this it increases every time you increase a level for your account like for example level 64 this increase the the total increases anyway and this refills uh up to full every time you level up but again guys if you can see the game um let's do um go back to let's take a look at this stage for example if you play this game this is at 27 prism and at 27 prism that's only a few stages that you could play every day so do not really miss playing as soon as your prism fills up especially if you get more prism here in the colossus wherein you could get more in this one your prism prism hall 
I think, Prism Pillar. So this also gives you Prism um, and um, has a Prism increase per hour here. So again, just want to repeat, play as soon as your Prism fills up because you need to play at least, for me, two times two filled up Prisms in a day. Okay? Um, you can also buy Prism here uh, in, in exchange for Lumember, but this is just uh, for your discretion because Lumember is also used in summoning. So my advice is, you know, try to think for yourself if you want to spend Prism for Lumember or you want to use this for summon. But again, um, if you fill this out, please do play play in the morning, play in the afternoon so that you could maximize grinding for this game. This game is, if you don't double time, it's it's a bit slow in progress, but you have to play as soon as your prism fills out. Okay, so number five would be, let's go to recruitment. Recruitment is crucial in this game. Um, the rates are not bad, actually, come to think of it. Um, are not bad um, once you get to 50. So let's say, for example, let's uh, make an example of your regular banner. Um, the the chance to obtain is almost the same percentage. So let's view details here. So as you can see here, um, once um, it's 2% if you fail to obtain a 6-star up to 50 recruits. So, for example, you, you've done a 5, 10 pulls, so that's 50. The next, after you've done the 50, please do pull one at a time because it would save you um, it, it would save you a lot of currency because as even if you do pull one at a time, the probability increases. Okay? So, do not waste, especially if you're free to play, do not waste uh, ten um, on, on 10 pulls beyond 50. Do single pulls. That this will save you more. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, star flares, uh, so that you could you know save up for the next banner or for the next Aurorian that you might want to pull for. Okay. So while we're here, while we're here in the mainstay recruitment, I am not really recommending this banner. This banner is just a bait. It's really the main bait banner for. Um, main bait banner for the game try to recruit in the rotating recruitment especially if there are very good six stars that that you know that are available and also try to pull for the newly arrived units especially if the reviews are good and if you think that they are worth pulling for then definitely you pull for these banners Again, do not pull for the mainstay banner, the mainstay recruitment banner. This is actually a bait banner. There is no rate up here for a specific character, only for the, the rotating recruitment and these ones, the, the limited time banners, okay? And uh, we will be going to the home screen while you're a beginner, obviously you will need to, you know, you will need help. So as you are going through specific stages, like for example, if you want to challenge this, do not disregard the support. The support system is is among your friends, and you can refresh this to check out other support. So. As you can see for water, I have tons of options for support that I could use. You got Bethlehem, you have uh, Fleer here at 80 already. So I could put her, I could use her um, if I don't have any more um, good uh, Aurorians to fill my roster. Please don't uh, take, don't, do not forget this. Take advantage of this, especially if you're starting out. Also, guys, I um, just want to take you to our warehouse wherein we have there all the stuff that we have, the items that we have. So we have here, um, going to be um, talking about the recharge pack. So the recharge pack is actually a recharge for energy. This is going to be nice to use, especially if you're farming for resources. But um, I would suggest that you hold on to this and wait for... 
events that have a two times drop rate. Okay, um, this is one of the regrets that I made, but r really, it's not really a regret. But I, I was really, w I really wanted to grind whatever stage I had because I wanted to catch up. But for those of you guys who are slowly grinding the game, please do not use this casually. Wait for a two times drop on resources, then use this, then farm those so that you could maximize farming on your M. So that is it for the early game. My early game, um, do not deuce for beginners or deuce. So now we go to the mid game or late early game. So as you can see, let's go back to um, this one. For example, if you're in a stage, um, if you can remember, I mentioned that do not focus on one element because your counter circle eventually will, will play a big part in you finishing stages because damage decreases if you are if you are countering elements but if you're countered your damage decreases to 80 me now countering means let's say for example fire is countering forest um but if you are lightning forest is countering you or you're being countered by forest so lesser damage if you're countered and countering is 120. This is the reason why I do not recommend focusing on one element to start. Even you're starting, just build your, you know, your basic team. You'll get enough so that you could, you know, you could have a first five for each element. The, those are basically not really that good yet, but at least you have somebody there to use when you need that specific element. Okay, so as you also move further, so another tip is going to be old seal. You'll be unlocking your old seal and unlocking these Aurorians, your legendary Aurorians. So you have your Requiem, Mythos, Frostfire, and Regal. So if you are already in the middle of progress for a certain Aurorian legend, do not attempt to switch or to to try to reset. Uh, sorry, do not try to switch because you'll be resetting your progress here. Let's say, for example, you're already nearing completion. This is going to be completed tomorrow. And if you transfer to another Aurorian, definitely this is going to be reset down to zero for that new Aurorian. So again... Uh, your effort has been wasted, especially if you move further than one here. Um, I highly uh, discourage you to reset or transfer to another Aurorian. Finish this one, then move on to the next one that you want. Probably you made a mistake in choosing the first one, but definitely do not reset, okay? And also, I want to point out in terms of uh, Aurorians, um, please do eliminate biases when you're when you are using them especially if you're starting out you can't be choosy enough in you know in, for example in using aurorians in clearing stages because some of these aurorians are good but they're not really recommended to be your end game aurorian so try to use them try to play them do not do not have biases on them Early game, you don't really have you don't you really don't have a luxury to choose. Um, I actually regret not leveling up some of these rows. Like for example, Wendy, I disregarded her. She's a good utility. Odi as well. Um, again, there's a lot of utility in your four stars. So do not, do not you know do not uh, disregard them. Do not bias. Do not be biased on them. And uh, that's it. Uh, last tip for this video let's go back okay try to read up on your aurorians guys and reading up on them will not really happen in this page okay because again if you let's do illustrations here so if you go to personal intel um these are the factions that you have so if you're missing an Aurorian, it just says there it's not collected, no intel, and you cannot have a preview on what that Aurorian does. But if you 
if we go here to the Alchemy Stars wiki, this is the what this is the wiki that I'm using. Um, you can actually sort through the characters if you want to sort through six star then you can have a list of six stars here to check out and check out their stats like for example i don't have nikinis yet so let's check out her stats so as you can see here nikinis this is going to be her preview preview of her active skill chain combo then you have your equipment skill here as well so there's a lot of things that you can check about the, the specific aura that you would want, but you don't know what her skill is or it's been recommended by a content creator or by other players. So feel free to check this out. I'll put a link in the description for this wiki for those who are, you know, would want to reference um, future audience that they don't have. So this is more, th there are other wikis actually that I have seen. I forgot actually the links for those, but this one I have bookmarked. So please do check this out for your future reference. And also, guys, for um, other related topics, um, up, how to upgrade your Colossus, farming regular drops. Um, please reference my other video as a beginner guide. Um, I already made that one. Please check out, check that one out because you'll be needing that one in your progress also for the Colossus and for farming. Okay, guys, so that is it so far. So if you have other questions on what to do or sorry, on what not to do and what you should do, please put them down in the comment section below so that I will answer those as much as i can so thank you very much guys for staying this far so hopefully you can help me out by subscribing to my channel because again this helps out the channel a lot and thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here